I even experienced it so so firsthand actually with my girlfriend when we are checking in hotels and so on. Always asked about uh, you kind of have to explain yourself, you know. Um, so it it kind of just made sense, you know. And why why do you guys make it different in Iceland? Well, uh, I mean, we stand equal um, to straight people in the eyes of the law. So, and I think overall the society here is quite uh, gay friendly, and. Um, and again, Iceland is, is, is kind of a very attractive destination also for the nature and uh, because it's gay friendly as well, uh, it kind of offers the total package, I guess, for, for gay travelers. Yeah, and gay marriage uh, is uh, legal in Iceland, that's probably also a big part of your business. Of course, yeah. We, we, are, uh, we kind of became wedding planners. Uh, it was not really on the plan being one, but, <laughs> but we are very busy with uh, weddings as well. Um, and we have just one marriage law here in Iceland as well. So, um, and uh, I think that's, that's, uh, that's probably one of the most um, giving part of our business, I guess, is our other marriages, our other weddings. What makes it a beautiful wedding location? Well, the nature. Uh, the nature here is stunning and uh, I think probably 90% of our, our couples, they get married somewhere outdoor. Uh, so near a glacier, a waterfall, uh, you know, some black beaches or something stunning like that. Wow. And how, how's the weather? Is the weather very good for, for outside <laughs> weddings? Well, <laughs> you know, it depends how you look at it. <laughs> uh, well, it, it, of course, we are in the North Atlantic and uh, the weather can be quite changeable, uh, which is also fascinating. And we always have to have a plan B. So it, we have the chance of going inside. But we, that, can be, that can mean going inside a cave or something like that. So it doesn't need to be indoor. Um, and uh, the weather